this event is over, but um, <laughs> and it's an exciting moment for the city of Philadelphia. It's only a Mark Siegel event it could be. Uh, once again, we are certainly making history. And thanks to the hard work of uh, Mark Siegel, uh, publisher, uh, Philadelphia Gay News, uh, please give it up for Mark. Please inform me that as a part of the requirement uh, for today's event, actually every 10 minutes, uh, we will uh, give a round of applause to Mark. <laughs> it's on the back of the, of the program. Our city controller, Alan Buckovitz, is here. My notes are right here. Please recognize the city controller and, uh, uh, and our uh, uh, councilman at large, uh, Bill Greenland. Bill? doing my best to cover everybody. Um, but thanks to Mark and his uh, hard work, uh, today uh, we'll be uh, breaking ground on the largest publicly supported LGBT building project in the United States of America. <laughs> Once completed, this project will provide 56 units of affordable housing to people 62 years and older. The facility will be energy efficient generating more than 5% of it of the total energy that it uses from within the building. Centrally located, right here on 13th Street, close to the LGBT community resources like the William Way Center and the Mazzoni Center. I'm proud to be a part of today's uh, groundbreaking uh, ceremony. And I've had a little bit of history uh, in uh, the fight for LGBT rights and civil rights here in the city, but quite honestly, there are a ton of folks uh, who have done so many things over a long, long period of time, many of whom uh, I did uh, mention. Some of those fighters are now entering, though, their golden years, like those who came up during the Dewey lunch counter protests and the annual reminders in April of 1965. This center will support people of that generation and others in securing their most basic need for a good place to call home. Today we're also announcing the name of uh, the center. Uh, and uh, so this is not the name of the center. Uh, I do want us to please recognize Supreme Court Justice McCaffrey. The timing is everything. <laughs> this is a Mark Siegel affair. Please recognize Mark Siegel one more time. <laughs> For Philadelphia, the struggle for equality and justice has been a daily battle. Uh, but since 1982, it's one that has tipped more and more, and we saw that on Tuesday in a couple states across the country, yes. more and more in favor yes. of uh, human dignity and freedom. Thirty years ago this year, the city of Philadelphia passed what is commonly known as the Gay Rights Bill, provided for sexual orientation protections under the city's fair practices ordinances. The Gay Rights Bill is the foundation uh, for which uh, all of our other LGBT protections are built. Gender identity, domestic partner benefits, life partnerships, and the Equal Benefits Bill. This center is named after a quite charismatic leader uh, who played a central role in the passage of the Gay Rights Bill at that time. This person also played a tremendously important role uh, in my life as well. And so I'm pleased to announce uh, today that uh, this uh, center will be named after the person who is most responsible for me being in the position that I am today, and that is the late councilman at large, John C. Lastly, uh, before I leave, let me just uh, thank a couple yeah. other folks, you. which I couldn't do until the, uh, until the naming. Um, you know, it's just, uh, it's, it life is, has its interesting twists and turns. Uh, the person who uh, convinced me to work with John uh, back 30 years ago uh, was a guy by the name of Saul Shore. And uh, Saul and his wife Peggy are here. Uh, their son, Dan, uh, is now working in my office. Uh, 30 years ago, I was a volunteer in John's office. Uh, and uh, I want to thank them uh, for all their help and support and leadership and kindness and friendship over many years. 
John's uh, brother, Jesse, uh, who many of you know, uh, could not uh, be here today. His uh, home was uh, seriously damaged uh, as a result of uh, Hurricane Sandy. Uh, but he uh, promised me that he will be here for uh, the ribbon cutting uh, next year. Uh, lastly, I met uh, 30 years ago folks like Eileen O'Brien, Robin Miller, Paul Cribbins, and uh, Jim Hughes. Certainly John's mother uh, would be very, very proud uh, as well. I think of him every day. Uh, he is a guiding force uh, in my public service. And, um, you know, every now and then you just get to do something really nice in this business. God bless you and thanks a lot. Thanks, Mark. We're going to be a little out of order because some people have to do. Someone's in a board me room meeting. Um, again, 35 years ago, uh, 